posts on Waterbury's Green, the target of outrage. Many call it offensive and a reminder of an ugly time in this nation's history. News 8's Brian Spiros has our story. Good afternoon, Keith. A lot of people curious as to what the outcome is going to be of that meeting this afternoon. This right here is the post that a lot of people are talking about, a lot of strong opinions. This post right now surrounded in controversy. Now, the acting director of the Greater Waterbury NAACP tells News 8 she is going to recommend that this post be taken down. The issue that a lot of people have is that this was once used as a whipping post for slaves. Its purpose was taken into question after pictures emerged of a recent performance. That performance caused an uproar because it depicted a woman posing as a slave tied to this post getting whipped. She wanted to show how it was used during colonial times. A lot of people have very strong opinions about this post. We spoke to several people earlier today, and here's what they had to say. I honestly thought that that was a pinna post, something to let the city know things are going on. And when I found out that it's a whipping post, I was like, oh, no, sir, it's got to go. To me, it should be staying here because it's been here for years and years and years. It should stay right here. This, it bothers me. It bothers me a lot because when I have to come down here and catch the Meriden bus, I have to look at it. Or if I'm driving, I have to look at it. So as you just heard, a lot of strong opinions. Now, the post wasn't only used to punish slaves. It was also used on residents who didn't pay their town court costs. It would later become a bulletin board. So certainly a lot of questions as to what exactly is going to happen to this post here on the Waterbury Green. Again, that meeting between the mayor and members of the African-American community is scheduled for later this afternoon. We, of course, will keep you updated on the outcome. Reporting from Waterbury, I'm Brian Spiro.